guys and welcome or welcome back to the channel so first video in the new snake room this is so exciting well yeah anyway today we're gonna have to do some maintenance you know changing some water look for some poop and all that fun stuff and we're gonna feed everything so I'm not gonna waste your time I'm just gonna get right to it. The Sasuke Vipers. Look at them. Oh, they're so cute. Yeah, anyway, they have some sort of beetles. Some tiny, tiny beetles in their water. So we're gonna have to get rid of that and make sure everything is nice and clean. move on to my little baby cobra who yeah maybe you can see him maybe not but he's in there yeah it's a bit hard to see him yeah he's in there so I'm just gonna grab his water. Still, I have no idea if, it, if it's a he or she, but saying he feels kind of good. And I do see some poop there, so I'm keeping my eyes on him. Exactly. Because he's fast. Yeah, he's relocated into that one. You know if you can see. So I'm just gonna go a little bit easy. So let's deal with the spitting cobra. And by the lack of shed skin, I can tell that she hasn't fully shed yet. Yeah, yeah I can see her moving around. Oh, she's facing. 
Uh, add these here. Yeah, let's just get her water done and give her a little spray. Yeah, let's just give her some fresh water and I'm gonna give her a good spritz. None of her own skin accidentally gets stuck on her. Oh. Yeah, she's a little bit angry. Uh, let's see if she will also eat. And some snakes flat out refuse to eat while they're in shed because yeah, honestly, it's uh, it's not a super nice process because like the old skin is like itchy and everything. But cobras tend to eat in shed anyway, or I mean, all elapids do, and colubrids are really good at eating in shed. But you know, when it comes to certain like vipers or boas or pythons. And they can be a little bit more finicky when it comes to eat during shed. But yeah, I would say that this is quite a good shower for her. And yeah, she's she's hiding in the other end of the cork tube that she likes so much. But yeah, let's leave her be until it's time to feed and I also need to make sure this is stuck in a better way so before I just grab uh, his water gonna try to see where he might be no he's not there uh, nope yeah, then it's pretty safe for me to just reach in and grab yeah, I'm sure he's not either so yeah it's safe to do this put that right back and I got missed a little bit in here as well and uh, hopefully that will draw him out uh, otherwise, I'm gonna have to look a little bit for him since I'm gonna feed him so I know where I'm supposed to feed him. So yeah, I think that's gonna be enough. And yeah, this substrate is so good uh, because it keeps humidity way better than stuff like sand or anything. Obviously not as good as like dirt and stuff, but still, it's really good. Yeah, we're gonna move on to the female pus adder, and I don't exactly know where she is either, so I'm gonna have to take a look. She was hanging out up here before, but I have a strong suspicion she might be around this 
Well, the jewel did that. My suspicions were absolutely wrong. side she might as well be hiding in here no. so yeah I found her she is hanging out right back there but yeah super good camouflage Changing the water for the quarter cobra. And he's actually hanging out right there, so I'd better grab a hook if he. Like, you never know, he might decide to. He might decide he wants to jailbreak, but. Nah. Oh, I will poop. Fixing the water first, poop later. So, he decided to hang out on the other side of the enclosure, so... No worries at all. Just grab that. Vipers, since they can actually shed their fangs, and sometimes they swallow them and poop them out. So, yeah, you really, really don't want to get pricked by that because I mean, they can contain venom and. If they have pooped them out, they can also contain fecal matter. So imagine getting fecal matter into your body. That's not good. So even if there's no venom, there's still a risk. One last thing 
before feeding. We kind of have to miss this guy, and I have the hook as insurance because you never know if he's gonna try to find his way out because it's not unheard of. And as you can see, I'm gonna have to try to lure him that way. Get over here, buddy. Well, can't fool him. Yeah, he seems to calm down quite a bit when he missed. <clears throat> See if we can do some on this side as well. Knew it. He is not to be trusted. And I, you kind of feel vulnerable when you, when you're spraying, because I mean, if it was open and I was holding the hook, yeah, that's one thing, but I can't really, I'm gonna use this as a hook. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. Sneaky, sneaky little guy. So yeah, now we we just have feeding left, and uh, you might have noticed, uh, you know, I've, I've filmed in a way that I don't always do. I I do a lot of uh, handheld filming, and. Yeah, that's because I, I have some new equipment, I have a new camera, uh, I'm gonna see uh, when this video is done, if the quality is uh, better or not, and I have a new stand for the camera, and a little bit of that, and yeah, of course I tried out this head thing, uh, but yeah, it's, it really is hard to film with this, so uh, maybe I should do a couple of trial runs before uh, using it more. Uh, but yeah, so if, if you feel like the format is uh, a bit unusual, well, now you know. Uh, you know, I, I want to create the best content I possibly can, and, and yeah, I feel like I might have to you know, try a few things out, see what works, see what doesn't. Uh, so yeah, if you, if you do have any points on, you know, anything, uh, including what you want to see on the channel, just drop a comment and, yeah, we'll see what we'll be able to do. So yeah, let's, let's get on with this and feed some snakes instead. So, oh, why not start with that one? Yeah, he looks really hungry, and I think he was. How about that one? There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. But where is the third one? Oh, there we go.
Nah. Yeah, that was that was really cool. Uh, I've never seen her eat like that off cam. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen her eat like that off cam. So um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy that I got to see that. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, let's find the male puff adder and see if he wants to eat as well. So if I'm right. He's hiding in here, which he wasn't. Oh yeah, I see him. He is way, way, way in the back. Yeah, I'm not quite sure if I'll be able to get this. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, sorry, bud. Yeah, okay. He is awake and he appears to be hungry. I hope I got that.
let's see if the female tough adder will eat from an arboreal state. She doesn't look too interested, so I'm just gonna place it right there and hopefully she'll come down and eat it. Uh, I actually don't really have the time to hang around. Uh, turns out I'm quite busy. So let's see if I can do this with the camera standing next to me. Crazy man! Crazy man! find the other one as well. Oh, he dropped it. So, yeah, let's just go ahead with a third one. So I'm doing this left-handed, so... I hope it works. There we go. Good strike like that. It's always great. Like these are like rattlesnakes, you know, they they bite and let go. And then they hunt down their prey. And it's very cool. Like compared to the puff adders who tend to bite and hold on. And they actually uh, like every bit is tend to grab the prey and lift it up so it can't kick around or anything which is a really really cool thing and um, yeah the male puff adder did it a little bit but I mean he's still young he's still developing his muscles and everything but yeah uh, let's move on it'll take a minute for him to start eating Let's see if we can deal with Mr. Crazy Pants. In a good way. Like, as you know, he tends to become quite crazy when there's food involved. But yeah. Hopefully he smells that one. Yeah. Yeah, look at him. He's absolutely nuts. Yeah, I'm actually gonna corner buddy just grab it and I'll throw in a few extra 
and you gotta see by now. So you grabbed it, the first one, and yeah, it seems to be going well. And he's doing something. Enjoy this, you know. Uh, you know, trying out some new equipment, some new things. Uh, personally, I feel like I probably could have done it better. But remember, guys, there's always a bit of a learning curve uh, when you use new stuff. And yeah, I feel a little bit rushed now at the end because uh, I have to leave in like ten minutes. So. Yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, I hope you will have a great day, and I hope I'll see you on the next one. And also, don't forget to follow my brother at West Bay Reptiles. I'm gonna drop the description down below. The link in the description down below. <sighs> yeah, stressed jumble. Anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you.